on the 26th of July, um, the president of Niger, Mohamed Bazoum, um, was arrested by uh, his, uh, his own guard. And uh, soon after that, uh, the head of the presidential guard stated that it was a coup and that he was leading a military uh, transition. Soldiers in Niger have seized power and say that they have overthrown the country's democratically elected president. Soldiers announced the military takeover on Wednesday, ousting President Mohamed Bazoum, who had been in power for only two years. A charged atmosphere in front of a military base in Niamey. Tensions between Paris and Niamey continue to mount. So this happened in a, in a, in a broader context. Niger, uh, you know, is one of the three Sahelian countries affected by uh, GRD insurgencies. Two other countries, Mali and Burkina Faso, uh, suffered from a military coup in the last uh, uh, couple of years. And Niger was, you know, the, the last country holding to, uh, to democratic principles, but also uh, in a position to at least slow down the expansion uh, of, uh, of uh, jihadist groups, if not actually, to also to, um, uh, to really uh, push them back to, uh, to other uh, areas. So um, first it was a surprise you know, this, these, these events came as a surprise to most observers, including uh, the International Crisis Group, because unlike Mali, there was no uh, popular mobilization in the streets against uh, President Bazoum. And unlike Burkina Faso, uh, the Nigerian army did not uh, suffer recently any major strikes. Nothing was really visible in the sense that, you know, we did not see the coup coming. It is the head of the presidential world, uh, Dr. Chami, who decided to arrest President Bazoum. And according to some rumors, uh, President Bazoum was planning to sideline Chani. In any case, the coup was not the result of popular protest, uh, as was the case in Mali back in 2020. So as of now, uh, President uh, Bazoum is still uh, in detention. He has refused to resign. There is a, a pretty important mobilization from uh, the ECOWAS, you know, the, the regional body of West African uh, countries, to push for uh, not only his release, but also uh, his, uh, his comeback. Other countries also have stepped in and support uh, the ECOWAS, um, France, uh, of, of course, uh, because they have you know, a, a pretty uh, important military presence in, uh, in Niger, the US too. Um, but I would say that there are uh, some tensions on how to solve this difficult situation. Part of, uh, of uh, the international community, including the ECOWAS and possibly France, um, are considering at least uh, a military option if the President Bazoum is not, uh, is not released soon. Other countries, uh, including Algeria, for instance, including the African Union, also the possibly the US and a few European countries who favor much more uh, a, a, a diplomatic um, a negotiation, you know, a dialogue with, uh, with, the, uh, with the Junta. And they are concerned about the uh, consequences uh, of a military uh, option. But to be honest, French position um, is a bit ambiguous. First of all, uh, you know, they stick to democratic principles in Niger, but they have not done the same in Chad, for instance, in Chad, the, the son of President Deby took over power after the death of his father. Or in Mali, for instance, in 2020, when there was the first coup. The French uh, government initially supported the new transition authority, uh, and it took a second coup before the relations between the Junta and, and France uh, deteriorated. The French army was expelled from Mali in 2022, as well as from Burkina Faso, soon after the coup by uh, Captain Traoré in Ouagadougou. In Niger, the French army have deployed over 1,500 personnel, mostly in Yemen, and they are concerned that this personnel may be kicked out uh, of the country as, as in Mali or, or Burkina Faso. This is also one of the reasons why the French are so prompt to stick to democratic principles and ask for the return of President Bazoum. The junta is actually instrumentalizing the uh, anti-French um, sentiment that has developed in the region and that has developed also uh, in Niger. And unfortunately, I think that France and President Bakro, by being so vocal, by also, you know, being in a position of, you know, the former colonial power giving or teaching lessons to the, to a former colony, I think that that's not, not playing in the, in the, in the good direction. So we at ICG, we believe that a military uh, option, a military intervention, will be um, extremely dangerous, not only for Niger, 
but also uh, for other countries in the region. Uh, it could backfire. It is uh, highly unpopular uh, with West African citizens. Um, many of them uh, have, uh, you know, the idea that uh, you know the ECOWAS is actually uh, willing to intervene in order to protect uh, Western interest and more pre precisely uh, French interest. We believe that it's uh, important to invest much more energy uh, into uh, dialogue. What is needed now is for both sides, for President Bazoum and his supporters, but also for the junta, to make compromises. And so far, none of them is willing to make uh, uh, real uh, uh, compromises. We believe that although he's the, the legitimate president, President Bazoum should make some compromises. We also have to recognize that uh, uh, Nigerians have, have, uh, have not mobilized a lot uh, uh, in his favor in the last few weeks. He tells something about the fact that um, among the Nigerians and especially among the urban youth, um, there is not a lot of trust in the democratic institutions. On the other hand, the perspective of having a military junta running Niger uh, is not a good one for Niger. The military themselves have said that they don't want to hold power. Um, they should make some compromise and, and possibly accept um, to um, uh, negotiate a form of, uh, of transition, uh, but run by the civilians. What would be important right now is to, in a way, demilitarize the coming transition in Niger um, and um, possibly associate uh, the largest number of uh, civil society organizations, political parties, political leaders in the countries, and to make sure that without excluding either President Bazoum party or uh, the military, each, this transition should be run by, by, by civilians. We believe that you know, this is the way out.